Hello, this is Crafty Crafty, and today we are playing another episode of Galactic New Horizons Season 2. And our little train just passes by. I have some bad news, uh, some small bad news. First, uh, I have to uh, fix an issue. If this guy is full, everything is going to shambles. The second issue is yeah uh, this patch grew some weeds yeah uh, it wasn't nice anyway <laughs> uh, we will optimize the system I'm going to think some other way of doing things again and yeah we are still needing to plan what we are going to do for the new base plan uh, by the way, uh, the last episode and this one has a week in between them. Uh, not because I dance um, too much, uh, it's quite opposite, I literally didn't do nearly anything at all, just some crafting and some machines. Uh, I'm a bit busy, I'm a bit busy with life and uh, moving out. Yeah, that's it. So uh, that's why the frequency of the episodes going to be dropped. Uh, it's uh, probably stay. Uh, at the, you probably realized it for few uh, few weeks. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, two episodes per week at the moment, I guess. So it will stay like that for a while. Anyway, as you can see, we have two distillation towers here. Yeah, and also two other pyro ovens. One of the pyro ovens are already automated. Uh, it uses circuit 7 and it produces wood vinegar. And also void... Access items, okay. And you're also access items, okay. Wood vinegar. Wood vinegar is going to be super important for us. Uh, like... Uh, come here. Fluid insertion pipe. And... Unrotted logistic pipes. Okay. And we're gonna need basic fluid pipe. And you're gonna come here, and you will be wood vinegar. Wood vinegar, uh, when in distillation tower, it produces some of the important uh, thingy magigis that we need. Acetic acid, it's gonna be used a lot. Uh, metal acid, I'm not sure. Uh, ah, and it's it's used in the advanced glue, and also chemical pl plants. Uh, that's new. Acetone, uh, which is used for uh, again for the advanced glue, and uh, this guy, and this guy produces this, and this produces cetane boosted diesel. Yeah, and also uh, one of the one of the main reasons are why we are doing is acetone uh, because also we are using acetone for acetone for this guy and this will epoxy it. So yes, wood vinegar is quite important, and also those two those two are also important, and water. Uh, water is on. Acetic. Uh, wait a second. Ah, it's on second floor. So you will be here like this. And fluid insertion pipes. Five fluid insertion pipes and one. Uh, no, you don't need basic. You need unrooted. Okay, now. 
What we are gonna need is connecting this net, this part with this. Okay, we connected this guy here, and what we're gonna need is inserting a this. And if we do this, yeah, we start getting all the things we're gonna need. And the water is going to be voided somehow. And uh, void well. Overflow while. Yeah, overflow while. I should have one, actually. Uh, come to think of it, I should have one. And yeah. You are here. Thank you. And our flow valve. And you will just wait the water. And this should be enough. Oh, flow points. Okay, I need to set you in a, um, be a better amount. And that would be, uh, that would require screwdriver. Yeah. Okay, I put uh, it on the side and it just voids at. Uh, actually, can I put zero? And uh, not enough fluid space. Ten. Oh! Those are. I think one of those guys are full. Or. Uh, Let's say one bucket, not any of fluids. Ah, okay, I forgot. I reprogram. Okay, that should be okay. Now, this is going to just wait the water. And let's try zero again. Ah, yeah, it's just. Okay. You will stay at one. <laughs> one liter of water. <laughs> okay, this is done. And what we need is a few more export pipe. And uh, But before that, we're gonna need an interesting guy. An interesting system. Okay, uh, for this guy. We have one empty spot, and what we're going to do, this fella, this fella, 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 not fella, fella, sorry, uh, go produce ferma fermented biomass. And there are a few ways of getting fermented bi biomass. First, uh, pyro ovening uh, biomass or fermenting biomass, but there is a shortcut. We can directly put bioshaft in the, this guy. So it will produce far more, uh, uh, far more easily, uh, far more faster. And so we're gonna cut a lot of middlemen. And, but this process requires water. And there's a one, one other way of generating water. Reservoir. And this guy produce as much as water as we can pull from it. But I'm not going to use directly this. I'm gonna use something else. Yeah, we need pump. One EV pump. And then... An EV input hatch. And this guy. And with that, we're gonna produce something magical. Reservoir hatch. Uh, there's no quest for it, uh, but it's super useful. Uh, what it does is, it's gonna produce water. Yeah, it has, has problems. And... You go there, you go there, and voila! Did I bring power to here? No, of course not. Uh, before bringing power to this guy, 
Uh, what we're gonna need to do is, yeah, that it's on two. And what we're gonna do is actually processing the already existing fermented biomass. I should have some around here or here. Ah, here. Fermented biomass. If I steal this, oh, that's something I don't know. Carry on. Okay. Uh, if I distill this, we get fertilizer, ethanol, CO2, uh, methane, methanol, ammonia, which is super important for us. And I think this is the best way of getting ammonia. Yeah. Uh, either this or chemical reactoring, uh, uh, chemical reactoring, hydrogen and nitrogen. Yeah. I prefer the passive method. Uh, we will first gonna produce a uh, process this guys and you're gonna be this and yep yeah. uh, one of those guys have a valid area I guess what ah okay uh, that's the path and yeah it was methane okay okay anyway what we're gonna need to do is our next setup by the way small notes uh, i did something interesting and yeah i the water is at the exact same level for both of those recipes uh Fermented biomass, uh, bioshaft, fermented biomass, okay. And uh, there is also, uh, there's directly biomass too, but anyway. Yeah, water is at the same level. So I can just use this guy and void all the water. Which is no problem at all. Anyway, we have this fun setup here. And this setup requires some kind of conduits and also here and I just need to connect here with here yeah and all I need to do is program the rest of it uh, we have four uh, centrifuges it might be overkill. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> four basic centrifuges are overkill. Uh, I feel like a basic guy. Anyway, what I need to do is some drawers and some pipes. So, let me just handle that part. Okay. First, uh, there is Extract on red with item filter and round robin on and this guy's gonna enter those here After that they will extract on black and black will enter here macerator and then it's gonna on a round robin uh, Extracts to those guys and that will create our bio shaft and then the bio shaft will go come to here and it will be our uh, storage. <laughs> yeah, that's the basic of it. And provider module and active supplier module. Uh, you are not going to supply those guys. I don't want you guys here. I want jungle sapling. Four stacks of jungle settling. And provide. Sir. Okay. And I'm gonna take you guys and I will put you back into into system. Anyway, I have to check some things first. Yep, yeah, the jungle settling are here. 
and they are starts getting processed and it will produce our basic uh, yeah plant ball and they will extract it ah always act always active always active okay and why you are not uh, inserting insert black and by the way you are not going to connect anything and I'm wondering why it's not black okay okay insert black Do I have to put you on top? Oh, I realized. Now, uh, now it's getting. And then it starts this process. By the way, why we are using Universal Mestrator, the H3 one? Because if we use LV1 or any other lower tier one, we will get half of the yield. So H3 one is the sweet spot. Any any tier up from HV will produce more extra. So yeah, this guy is ready. And it will produce our bio shafts. And yeah, uh, what we're gonna need is just connect here with a provider pipe, no, supplier pipe. Uh, I should have some. I should at least one supplier pipe. Crafting the logistics satellite pipe. No, I don't have supplier pipe. Okay, that's an issue. And we solved the problem by just crafting some thing magicies. And with that, we are gonna set. Uh, infinite. Let's do infinite amount of bio shaft. As many as possible. So yes, this is that. And then if we start this guy, we are start getting fermented biomass. And you are, which one is full? Ah, this guy is CO2 gas. CO2 is full and I have to process the CO2 gas somehow. And so let's just take this and then we will just automate some electrolyzer for it. Yeah, let's start producing. And yeah, we have a way of producing fermented biomass. I need some more pipes, actually three more, okay, no, no, no problem, no problem, and uh, basic logistics pipe, and you will be fermented biomass, and the fleet canner one, okay, fermented biomass, uh, temporarily let's connect you with, not basic, unrooted pipes, and then uh, we're gonna craft a lot of uh, super tanks, a lot more super tanks and provider pipes. And then, uh, I think the chemist... Oh, we also gonna need epoxy. Uh, we are gonna need to automate epoxy, but it's not that urgent and it's actually simple. But for now, the passive fluid generation should be done. Uh, just I need some place to store all of them. Yeah, all of them. And then also we as a bonus we have fertilizers. <sighs> nice. Anyway, uh, this is Crafty Crafty, and have an amazing day. <laughs>